welcome to another Cheeky Girl Creations DIY video. So today I will be creating the packaging for this year's December box. And I'll be using some Sean Petit stencils and masks to create the packaging. And what I'm doing, I'm picking colours that kind of go with the colour scheme and like the papers that are in the box. And I can't show you the papers just because that's a surprise. So you can pre-order the box following the link below. To my ticktail site and that will be posted out to you um, around the 15th of december so you can pre-order it just to make sure you definitely get what um that box so i'm mixing up a few colors i'm mixing up that kind of like darkish red using like sap green and a red paint i can't remember the name of the paint on um, the red one and then like black and ultramarine blue i'm making up my own mint as well using viridian white a lot of white um and some like blue mist which is a really light blue and I'm also using a kind of tan colour. I'll also be using um, the sap green by itself as well. And that's all just drawing out the colours from the papers. And I'm going to use um, makeup sponges to stencil through these masks and stencils. At the moment, I'm just using the masks. And I will always use the same colour with the masks. I'll just change the like order I um, use the stencils in just to make all the packaging look slightly different so it's not all the same and of course it wouldn't be because stenciling even though you might use the same ones it won't look exactly the same and i'll only show you um stenciling just two pages just because it's the same process but they will um i will show you all of them at the end of the video and of course there'll be photos at the end so you can see i'm also stamping off the excess from like the top of the stencil just to create a little bit more texture and um depth and interest and now i'm going to pull out the stencil i'm using i'll use like the diamond pattern um, with the sap green this is when i decided to have some of that green in there as well and i'll also use that kind of circly one in that like square shape and you can see i'm trying to stencil in quite a random way in a few places i tend to stencil in like threes or like fives and of course you'll see when i show you all the um <clears throat> sheets that I kind of changed up how much I was stenciling. So now I'm using that tan colour. And these are the kind of, I mean, the patterns are kind of similar to what I'm using that's in the papers, which is why I was choosing these patterns as well. Um, oh, and there are also some past boxes, such as like this year's June box, last year's June box, um, the September box and last um year's december box which are available on sale they've all been marked down to 12 pounds the original price for the boxes are 18 so you can grab yourself a bargain and if you want to see exactly what's in those previous boxes please do check out the playlist i will link in an icon in top right hand corner so you can know exactly what you want to get and that's a great way to figure out especially if you want to like try a um, a particular way of mixed media. So I will link that um, in the icon in the top right hand corner and I'll also link the um, the previous subscription boxes in the description below to my Ticktail site. So I'm just finishing up on this second one and you can see how I changed the order of how I did things and how like in different places I'm, I'm stenciling more. And with the makeup sponges you can like snip off the end once it's dry especially if it becomes really hard and you can just use your makeup sponge until there's no more makeup sponge to use and I like to do that so I don't waste it and I rinse my stencils off with some water so you can see they're nice and clean now and I will show you the papers in a bit so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already please do click that bell to get notified whenever I upload a video and please do check out the new December box um, I'll see you soon and thanks again for watching. Bye!